Welcome YouTubers and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Nexus 7 2013 and restore it. Alright so we in this episode here or the series whatever you want to call it it's going to be more of like a back to the basics um, the fundamentals like what you uh, would hear a coach say in football or something like that if you're not doing too well he says go back to the fundamentals so what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to go back to the fundamentals I'm going to show you how to do uh, pretty much what they call an Android backup then I'm going to go ahead and restore it but I'm going to restore my stock I'm currently running um, the Android Ice Cold project which is a ROM I absolutely love I have a video on it, As a matter of fact I have two videos on it but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an Android backup of this ROM and everything I have under it okay and then I'm going to wipe it and I'm going to restore my stock ROM that I have I have it on the internal but I also have my OTA connected to um, my OTA cable connected to a micro SD card so I can restore from there because when you do a backup you really want to take that backup and save it to like an external SD card save it to your computer somewhere else but get it off this leave a copy on here definitely for one of those oh crap I messed something up moments okay when you all, when you can get back into your custom recovery so um one quick thing about this external SD card alright when you go to the file explorer it's gonna show up let's see you're basically gonna see this here okay when you go here you'll see your external there it is I had to create a folder called TWRP twerp okay team win recovery project I had to make another folder called backups this right here generated uh, it generated when I did my Nandroid in other words it's identical to what it'll look like when you do a an Nandroid backup through the team win recovery project on my external SD the reason why I did that is because when you go to re hit restore I'll show you this in just a second when you go into your recovery and you hit restore it wouldn't show up it, w it wouldn't bring up the uh, backup excuse me a second there the backup that I had on my uh, external SD card for some reason it was looking for a specific file you know the the twerp the backups you know the code not or the 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 numeric digits you saw there and stuff so what we're gonna do now at this point this is how I want it I want this you got an idea of what it looks like now so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reboot to recovery so uh, I've had a few questions about some of the things that I've been doing to my Nexus and uh, if things go wrong how am I supposed to bring back the way I had it before you know what exactly do I need to do to you know to back my stuff up so now maybe later on I should be doing a video it's like I'm just rewinding I'm going backwards for some reason but we'll go through the rooting process and stuff but you definitely want to have I, I prefer Team Win Recovery Project installed. Team Win. So, you should, hopefully you've gotten this far before and have this on here. If not, I'll be doing a video hopefully real soon uh, putting all this stuff on there. So, alright, here's your um, Team Win Recovery. Let me bring this down just a little bit. There you go. Alright, you got a chance to uh, install, wipe, backup, restore. You see it all here. Okay, see, when you go to restore, I'm going to show you. Um, this is on my internal, so it already shows up. But if I click here and go to my USB OTG, which is right here connected, and hit OK, it shows up again. If I didn't create those folders exactly the way it had it on my internal, you would not see it here. I don't know why. Maybe I'm not looking for it right. I have no clue. But it wasn't there. It wouldn't show. And then, then you'd really start freaking out if you went ahead and wiped everything like I've done before. And... uh formatted because see you can go to uh, wipe advanced wipe where you can format data stuff like that so hold on before we get going any further we need to back up our system we don't want to mess things up so you have your stock ROM you have whatever ROM that you have on here we're gonna go to backup I prefer backing every single thing up up here you have auto generate 
you can just change all that stuff to a different name but I'm gonna leave it all up well you know what it's kinda lengthy so we're just going to back it up to right there alright this is the date um, yeah you get the point okay so I am good on that I'll hit go this is what it's gonna look like as a matter of fact it's gonna try to put on my uh, USB I don't want to I'm gonna just put on the internal storage alright cuz we're not gonna wipe internal in this video I'm just gonna go ahead and work on this you go ahead and swipe the backup so now it's gonna generate uh, it's backing up the system updating partitions and um, we'll be right back when this is complete alright it only took but maybe 118 seconds backups complete gives you the option to reboot the system I'm just gonna go ahead and go back alright we'll go back again to the beginning here now if I were to go to restore you see there it is there's my backup all ready to go but you know what I'm gonna restore what I had before but before I do anything like that I'm gonna go to wipe and I'm gonna just go wipe to factory reset okay so there we go back now if you hit format data you'll go here and you'll type in yes and stuff and what it's going to do is pretty much wipe everything off except for your recovery and a few other um, the things I guess that keeps it running in the very beginning or whatever so I'm not going to be worried about that right now I don't have a whole bunch of folders and stuff I already did all that stuff but now I'm going to go back I already did my wipe alright I'm going to hit restore I'm going to hit restore everything that I backed up so I'm gonna go ahead and, and swipe to restore alright I'll uh, get us a few seconds here and see what happens once it's done restoring I'll go ahead and reboot the system so give me one give it a second I'll be right back as soon as it's done and we're back took 261 seconds and yeah, it's not too bad so it says a reboot system I'm just gonna back out real quick make sure I'm good with all this stuff alright I'm gonna go ahead and hit reboot and I'm gonna reboot the system we'll see what happens so to recap I showed you how to make an Android backup it's very simple I check all the little put the little X's on everything okay and then I take it once it's saved and leave a copy on my internal and then I stick another copy there on my external on top of that I'll put another copy on my computer and I do it yeah, once a month or so some people do it a lot more than that alright after that's done remember when you put it on your SD card if you're external you've got to create the folders identical to the way Team Win Recovery Project puts the folder on your internal when you hit backup alright so you back up your system name it whatever you want put it on there see so check this out this is totally different from what I had before. It's exactly the way I left it, you know, days ago when I went ahead and wiped it. I've got totally different apps on it. Well, not all of them are totally different, but a good part of it is different. I'm going to go to his file explorer here. All right. So what's really good about this is not all that junk that I had on there before I had wiped all that stuff so that's really good things that show back up that's the folder that I'm talking about when you make backups it'll be put into this folder under backups under that there's my two backups there's my stock there's my uh, Android ice cold project ROM alright it's pretty neat very interesting move them over there you could pull them from that it doesn't really matter uh, whichever way you want to do it but this is how you would do it if you were to say oh crap something happened you can go back to your recovery and you can pull from those files so I hope this helped out today uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below uh, so welcome or uh, once again back to the basics here are your fundamentals thank you for watching take care